I need help. I'm a threat to Kremlin. I know where the money comes from. They will kill me if you don't help me. Help you? What can I do? What drew me to the work was that they're really real characters, really human characters. At its heart, it's an issue of what it feels like to be a man in the 21st century. Perry's character feels lost. His wife's much more successful than he is. And his journey is one of redefining himself as a man. They're in Marrakesh to try and sort of save their marriage. That's why I was so attracted to playing this relationship with Naomi, was the, the fact that it's not often we see the romantic couple in the center of a story where they've got this sort of broken dynamic. Your woman just left you. Come have a drink with us. In the midst of all of that, which isn't going particularly well, they both go on this very dangerous journey, risking their own lives. Perry's doing it because he wants to rediscover his sense of self-worth, to find his passion again. And Gail's doing it solely because she loves this man. I'm sorry about everything. Naomi and I have never met before, but I think she's a phenomenal actress. I've enjoyed her work, and now I'm really enjoying working with her. And the relationship we have to play in the film is very interesting and layered and detailed. Gail absolutely holds her own, and it's a very modern marriage in that respect. I can't stop thinking about him, his family. You don't even know these people. It was a very interesting journey with you. It says a lot for him as an actor that he wasn't afraid to play a character who's a bit weak at the beginning of the film, who grows in strength as it goes on. And he loved that relationship with Dima, the kind of laddish relationship that they had together, but also it goes to a very emotional place, I think, too. Professor! Dima! In Paris, he's an honest man. He's not surrounded by good men. He's surrounded by gangsters and business people and bankers and lawyers and everybody has an agenda that is uh, that is not always nice. I absolutely love the place we've taken Dima to. Stalin himself is very much a family man who's got eight children. He loved that aspect of, of Dima as a man to whom the family was really important. On the one hand, he'd be all hugs and jokes and joviality, but then you have to feel that He's capable of extreme violence, and that was the tightrope that we trod. Never before have we had an informant this high up in Russian organized crime. British politicians, lawyers, and bankers recruited by the Russian mafia. Hector is a spy burdened with a conscience, a man of principle with a strong moral code, and also possibly a little vengeful. I'm absolutely thrilled to have Damien. He made some really interesting acting choices, I think. We've just been incredibly lucky with this cast. It's um, a bunch of really wonderful people. And that's one of the great things about the movie for me. Everyone's got lots of layers to them. There's lots of shades of grey. There's no right and wrong. There's a lot of moral ambiguity. And uh, that's what you get from Le Carre. Getting his family out is all he wants. That's, that's all that matters to him. They'll kill them.